What's up? Hair looks like crap. But, uh, I've been working all day. Um, doing my little tattoo thing. But jump in the shower here. Kind of excited about getting a nice hot shower. The... I'm sore, sore, sore from, like, you know, tattooing all day. And the day before, I was beating the crap out of myself doing a match. Like a three-way dance kind of tag team thing. And then didn't win the match but hey we carried that match man we, we did the best we could and we just kept going and going boom 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 and I'm all beat up sore tired I'm like geez so it's, it's it's tough it's a rough business you know and you sit there stationary all day afterwards it's like how do you do that you, you're not supposed to um I'm doing this tattoo today though right and the guy like that did it before I saw what happened you know the color like pulled out you know and I guess he just beat that that one color in man I don't know if it was a good brand of ink or whatever but he just beat it in right and what happened is he beat it in so rough that he just tore it up and it just kind of came out you know and he's like man his skin just sucks his skin just sucks and then I was like all right then like I'm over there and I'm doing like I'm doing the tattoo over him as soon as he touched the same spots the guy already scarred up really scarred him up bad um I'm getting it in you know getting the ink in I'm like man I don't really want to turn you into hamburger and I was ready to quit you know just be like dude I gotta get you back here when two weeks you healed up because I don't want you to you know but he's like nah man let's just do it let's just do it and so I was like alright dude you think you think you can handle it he's a tattooist too so he's like yeah yeah, I can handle it. I can handle it. I'm like, all right, dude. So we went through it. He could handle it. He's pretty tough, actually. Um, and I started doing it, right? And then it's just like hitting it soft, hitting it soft, going back over it, hitting it soft. And I got it in. And um, it looks really, really good now. And then I touched up all the other crap he did. Like, he did, he did the piece really well. Like, it's really done good. He's a good artist. But there's a difference between being an artist and being a tattoo artist. You know what I mean? Like, I apprenticed. I did the homework. I did, you know, and just because you apprentice, right, by the way, just because you apprentice at a shop doesn't mean shit. Just because you did homework doesn't mean shit. You got to, like, do your homework and really just to make it your life or you're going to really just make it horrible. Like, my buddy just tried to just pick it up and... I know guys that are apprentice and they just sit at that shop forever and they just suck and it's like dude you either take it serious or you don't like the same thing with wrestling like a lot of guys are backyarders and then they you know they say oh I'm gonna, screw this I'm going to a wrestling school good go to the wrestling school go to Gilbert's go to wherever you're gonna go you know get trained you know get trained and then take it serious okay so you went to the wrestling school you're still going to the wrestling school you're wrestling your one show, maybe you're working a couple other shows, and you go on the road, you're not getting booked. Why aren't you getting booked? You're not apprenticing under guys like me who are like, hey, <laughs> pitching for gas money, listen to me talk about wrestling the whole time on the ride, and then learn something. Go to Axel. Go to... There's there's name. If you got names in your area, go to that guy. Go to, go to somebody. Somebody that will teach you something. Don't go to bullies, you know? Don't go to guys that are just going to use you and take all your money and, you know, I mean, yeah, if they say, hey, I've been in the business for, like, I've been in the business for 10 years, but, you know, I've been in the business, I made something out of myself, whatever. Like, if you want what they got, listen to them, you know, and respect them. Don't step on their toes. Like, I train guys to wrestle before, and the first thing they do when they're how to wrestle, they just drop it and they go. It's like, no, 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 no. Then you go on the road, and you learn how to make money. Then you, there's so much more you got to learn, you know? Like, if you think I'm wrestling for free, I'm not. You know, and I'm like, I'm just good at what I do. I'm not like a big name star or anything. You know, I don't even like try hard enough to uh, be on like a lot of the other shows. And I know how to do all that stuff. I don't care. It's like, I'm not going to go pay to go to Japan. I'm not going to pay to go to Europe. I'm not going to pay to do Mexico, nothing like that. And that's what a lot of guys do because they're trying to make a name for themselves everywhere and they're, they're paying their dues and that's what they do but I don't do that because I, first of all I can't afford it secondly the tattooing thing I love a lot more than I love wrestling now and 
you know, that means I'm I'm a villain or whatever. I don't care. That hurt my feelings at all. Um, although do, I do love wrestling, it was my first love, so you know, never gonna get over it. Probably never gonna be out of it, you know. And just I just want people to take it serious. I don't want people to take this tattoo anything serious and like not, not just go out there and not do their homework and not and, and not continually learn the art you know, of both those things, you know, if you're in either of those businesses, you need to just keep learning, man, just, if you're in any sort of art form or entertainment or anything, if you're in football and you're trying to make it somewhere, if you're on a team, okay, you got, let's say you get signed to the NFL, right, let's say you get signed to the Ravens, please God, give me signed to the Ravens, we want to play, no, no, the Ravens, right, you're sitting there, you want to be top of the team, you know? And if you're like, oh, Ray Lewis, he'll respect them. But remember, he wants you to try to be top of the team. He wants you to challenge him for his position as head, you know, not in a disrespectful way. He, it's all about doing a good job and making plays and being the man, you know. And, like, just go out there and put your heart into what you do. Because I found out that, for, my, for me, the meaning of life is what you mean for your life. You know what I mean? But like, if you mean... I was talking to the promoter's wife, and I was like, you know what, I just, I was looking up at the sky, I was like, the meaning of life is what you mean for your life, I was like, so what's the meaning of your life, and she looked at me like, oh, okay, this, is kind of, I was like, seriously, what's the meaning of your life, she goes, I plan to be the best mom I can be, and I was like, congratulations, you're a kick-ass mom, she is, so, the meaning of life is what you mean for your life, you don't need to try to be the best at everything, just whatever you want to be the best at, you know what I mean, and uh, that's pretty much it for this YouTube video, um, like and subscribe, thank you very much.